Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to fix if your computer cannot connect to the primary DNS server. So hopefully this should be a pretty quick tutorial if you're getting this error alert. And we're going to jump right into it. And we're going to start by right clicking on the start button. And you want to proceed to left click on where it says command prompt and in parentheses admin. And if you receive a user account control window, you want to select yes. Now into this elevated command line window, you want to type in N-E-T-S-H space I-N-T, another space I-P space reset. So N-E-T-S-H I-N-T I-P reset, spaces in between all of those. Once you've typed that in, you want to hit enter. So if that still does not work for you, there's another thing we can try in this tutorial. And that would be to go down to our Wi-Fi or Ethernet connection down in the bottom right corner of our screen. So now I'm using an Ethernet connection, it looks like a monitor with a little cable next to it. And when I hover over it, it should say Internet Access. If you're using a Wi-Fi connection, it should appear as multiple bars, like a cell phone signal almost. You want to right click on it, and then left click on Open Network and Sharing Center. And now, now that we're underneath our network connections, you want to click on whatever next to connections here, if it says Wi-Fi or Ethernet. You want to left click on it right here. You want to left click on properties at the bottom of this window. And now you want to go down to get to Internet Protocol version 4. Then left click on properties. You want to make sure it's set to obtain an IP address automatically for both of these. Then click on OK. Now I'd recommend underneath change your network settings. Left click on troubleshoot prompts where it says diagnose or repair network prompts or get troubleshooting information. You want to select that. And now you can select different options here, and I recommend you go through a couple of them here, especially the network adapter and the internet connections option. Select internet connections would probably be my first one I'd recommend you try. And select advanced at the bottom. Make sure it's checkmarked in here to apply repairs automatically. Then select next. This should take a moment, so you just want to be patient. And then it will give you further information if you wanted to elaborate. And I recommend you walk through both of these prompts. Like I showed you, restart your computer in between both of them as well. And hopefully your issue has been resolved at that point. And as always, thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I hope it helped you out, and I look forward to catching you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.